Good morning from Merzuga. The beautiful sand dunes behind us show what, what landscapes uh, are awaiting us in the next days. Um, yeah, sorry for yesterday. It was a little late. We had to set up camp, so uh, we wanted to get it on quickly. But after that we had a nice dinner, uh, worked a little bit on the car and then got a good night of sleep, which was uh, very important for all of us. And uh, I guess we're ready for, for the third race day now. Um, we're starting here in Merzuga and we're also ending here, so we're driving uh, a loop. And yeah, it's a little shorter than yesterday, so let's hope we can make it before we have to trailer uh, in time at 7 p.m. back here. Uh, that all depends on the amount of energy we'll have in the battery, but uh, yeah. We're confident the car worked perfectly yesterday. We hope it will do the same today and then we'll have a nice rest day. So we're at the first control stop. Uh, I'm standing here with Lina. She's right in the race convoy, so she can uh, deliver the messages right ahead. Tell us how it's yeah, going. Yeah, no, it's going really great, smoothly actually. Um, we managed to get up really, really long, steep hills, which are a huge challenge for the car. Um, there, the powertrain uh, just needs to be made for that, and we proved today that it was, which was amazing to see. And we had some amazing panoramic view views as well on the side. And finally we can look at those because we do not constantly have to worry about, about things. No. And also really nice, I see people from Vattenfall here. So Yeah, we, uh, overtook, them, we overtook them twice actually. It was funny because um, they were going much slower, like a little bit slower than us. Then we had a driver change, they overtook us and we instantly took over again. Which is very, very satisfying. Uh, just to prove that the photon, you know, can do it. It, it has the it has the potential to keep up with the big teams, and yeah. Not now even the potential. It showed we have the same pace. Actually. Yeah, yeah, we, so. have the, we have the same pace, and um, now we are today we are third behind Agoria um, and Twente. So let's let's chase them now. That's the plan. Very good. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. Das muss, äh, 
los in der Werk an das war So, this is the end of our third race day. It was a really, really good one. Timon, tell us all about it. Yeah, so we started strong. We uh, were head on head with Vattenfall for the first like three or four hours. And we overtook them twice. They overtook us once when we took quite some time for a driver change. Um, but yeah, in the end, it was the first day where we actually crossed the finish line and didn't have to trailer. A huge success for us. And we finally showed that our soda car can compete with the very best and beat them because Vattenfall is still not here and we're still waiting. Uh, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Tell us about Vattenfall. You just you just dropped it in. Uh, what, what's happening there at Vattenfall on the on this stage? We are yeah. quite head to head with them, right? Yeah, quite head to head. Like <laughs> we were always like five kilometer per hour faster, but they started earlier since they were in third place yesterday, and so we had to make up make up some time, and it was enough to to be in front now. That's, that's all we want to hear, to be honest. To finally see this car at its full potential, I think. Yeah, but do you have to keep in mind it's only about the timing and you know, since they have the better timings from the last days, in the overall standings they're still in front of us, but we have two more days of racing and we still are in the race, so we'll see what happens. Exactly. I think this is a very good final word for this day. We're just very, very happy. And also, which is a good thing, this is the first time we're in camp when it's not dark yet. So we can prepare everything and then have a night with a lot of sleep, I think. And that's, that's really good too. So, see you guys tomorrow yeah. and thanks for tuning in.